Kite's error and Ponsetti solution. Hi friends, this is the video demonstrating the Kite's method for clubfoot correction, the Kite's errors and the solution given by Ponsetti himself for the flaws in the Kite's method. This is a model showing all the deformities present in a clubfoot. You can clearly appreciate the equinus deformity at in the sagittal plane at the level of the ankle joint. In the frontal plane, we can see the adductors as well as the varus deformities. And this happens in the forefoot, midfoot as well as in the hind foot. And we can appreciate the calcaneus which is an adduction and varus with respect to the talus. So what Kite thought was that the forefoot and the midfoot bones were in adduction with respect to the hind foot or the calcaneus. So he proposed the axis of correction being at the level of the calcaneo cuboid joint and he attempted deformity correction but we can clearly see the calcaneus is still in varus and adduction and it could not be abducted and this had led to a secondary deformity in the midfoot with the calcaneal varus still persisting. The end result was a bean shaped feet. This is for the kite's error. Professor Ponsetti, over years of observation and research, proposed that there was varus and adductus at all levels in the feet, including the hind foot, midfoot, and the forefoot. So he proposed the axis of manipulation could be at the level of the tailor head and when he used this method with the axis being at the tailor head and tried to correct the frontal plane deformity we can see clearly that even the calcaneal deformity could be corrected out of its varus position and the foot came to an optimum position of correction so the solution for the kite's error which was the axis being at the level of the calcaneo cuboid joint was modified by Ponsetti and proposed the axis being at the level of the tailor head and the deformity was gradually corrected to an optimum position in at all levels of the feet as we can see here. Thank you.